Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy, JB. Y'all already see the title, man. My career. We finna get into it. Everything is going crazy. Y'all already know I became a starter, finally, man. But if y'all new to my channel, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button, you feel me? Because we drop bangers on a regular. You feel me? Insane Crazy 92 is my GT if y'all trying to play. Instagrams, Facebooks, Twitters, all of that is going to be in the description below. Let's get it. Hey, y'all. I got to talk about this interview MP gave to my boy, Frank Valentine. First of all, nice scoop, Frank. You did good here. Second of all, I told y'all, this relationship is doomed. Dirty laundry in the press, finger pointing, complaining. Speaking of which, now I'm hearing MP wants out entirely. Does this surprise me? How do you salvage this relationship between him and Coach after all he's done and so publicly? I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so, but if the shoe fit, wear it. This was a bad idea on day one, and it's a bad idea today. If I'm Harvey Lesser, I cut my losses and trade this kid immediately. He's not worth it. Hey, look, man, we need to talk about this Kendrick Perkins report. What about it? Look, Perkins is a big personality, but he's not a straight-up liar. So, look, I need to know if there's any truth to this. Do you want out? I mean, I had some good moments this year, but this is where I want to be. Look, I started my career here. I want to finish here, bro. I've always been like that. That's me. Look, it's okay if you want to trade. I just need to know before the press does. Ricky, I want to be here. All right. Well, all the same, I made you an appointment with your agents to help you give you some advice on these rumors. They not going nowhere, huh? Nah. But they know what to do, all right? They've done it a million times. I appreciate you, Rick. of interest in the early part of the season to see how teams have changed with the addition of new pieces doors yeah or perhaps the development of existing players it's fascinating to watch always great to see those teams that have taken the next step now here's Stewart to the left side wing here's Cunningham Stewart a screen on Irving kicks it out to MP trains the triple and I have to say B.A. MP is one of the flashiest players in the league. He doesn't go out of his way, but he plays with a sizzle. Yeah, he does, and that's just part of what defines MP's game. Grant, he's not out there to only score. He wants to put on a show. Now here's Aldridge. The 11-footer, and it's Harden. That oh. time on the assist for Harden, again missing. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. First team point. At the line for Detroit. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for MP. And Grant, one of the more surprising notes with MP, it was leaked that he isn't happy and wants a trade. And to be honest, B.A., we don't know how substantiated this trade talk is, but it would be a huge blow to this franchise if that's the case. Well, three level scorers will use the mid range when it's given. Kyrie Irving did exactly that. Boy, and when it comes to providing leadership, everyone tackles it a little bit differently. Irving isn't that Kevin Garvey. Hard misses. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Hits the trifecta. And it's Mills in for Harden. And there's 138 left in the first quarter. Outside Mills. Sinks the tray. Mills. Really heads up play by Kyrie Irving. On time and on target pass. We've seen that before. On the wing, MP. 
with it. And on Claxton. And Grant gets it to go. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Outside Irving. And there's another one for the net. And Brooklyn going the other way now. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. MP outside. For three, Diallo. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And here's Grant from the arc. The shot won't fall. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Let's go! And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of the... And Kyrie Irving is subbed in for Mills. Inside, Grant and Olenek. Cunningham is out there with MP. And it's Jackson in it to three spot. That's the five on the floor. Back when you played, were there certain types of teams that gave you more trouble, whether it was size or athleticism or maybe shooting? Well, back in my day, I mean, the big, strong teams had a huge advantage. They could really beat you up and play. Detroit has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. On the wing, MP. MP is doubled. Jackson with room to fire. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Prince has got his third assist of the night. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And Harden with the slam. Oh, an athletic oh. move by James Harden. Beating the D and then rubbing it in their face with the slam. MP outside. Buries it from three. Left side Irving. And Aldridge the bucket on the assist from Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Such a nice touch on the ball from Aldridge. He knows exactly how much power to put on the inside shot. And a put the score. No piston. 32. The Nets. 31. And the Nets with possession here. They trail by one. On the floor for Brooklyn. Irving runs point with Harden to his side. Joe Harris out there with Paul Millsap. And it's Aldridge in at the center, filling out the middle. And then Aldridge with the dunk. It's rare that one of the game's best scorers is also one of the best playmakers. Harden does it all at the offensive end. Prince on the attack. And if he throws it down. In a close game, those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Harden misses. Detroit has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. MP left side from about 19. And Detroit again with the bucket. Well, I have to. Outside for Harden. Soft touch off the glass. Harden's got 11. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. And here's MP from outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Pistons lead by four. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Left side Irving. The teardrop. And Harden lays it up and in. Harden's got four points this quarter. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The Pistons have gone three of three in the second half. Here's Prince. Again, the Pistons score. MP outside. MP is doubled to the middle. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. To the inside. Here's Mills. That falls. Pass to Diallo. Bay with it. Just five to shoot. And the Pistons! Another three! What? Diallo with the ball. Picked up by Griffin. 
Here's Lee. Banked it in off the glass. And now it's a nine-point Detroit lead. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Irving. Going inside. Oh, and makes against MP. Down to five on the shot clock. Lee into the lane. Over Mills. Cashes in the 12-footer. Lee's got by Mills. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Irving for three. Sinks it from distance. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. Beyond the arc. Nails it from three. Prince has got 12 points here in the second half. They're leaning on him heavy, and he's responded. He can carry the load. Points coming in. Prince has checked in for Jackson, and Cunningham subbed in for Joseph. Millsap, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Mills comes in for Kyrie Irving. They and Grant make up the forward pair. And it's Stewart in at the center position. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. What a tremendous show. One-to-one -one on the season series with two left to play. And he got the whistle. Prince. That's his first personal foul. Pistons win. Pistons win. Your Pistons. 88. The Nets. 71. Thank you to everyone making it out and supporting your team. Tonight. We hope to see you again soon for the next home game. Ooh, I'm thinking Vietnamese tonight. By me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good game, man. So what are you trying to, uh... See, that's what I'm talking about. What was that? He'll get over it. Get over what? Trade rumors. Bro, I want to stay, though. Look, I know, but it's his team. He just resents the distractions. Look, like I said, he'll be fine. I don't believe this, man. <laughs> Look, don't take it out on him, all right? It's honestly the media. They get to you, MP. Look, you try not to let them, but they do. He just been watching too much Sports Center or something, all right? He gonna be fine. Just give him some time. All right, Frank, you want to start us off? Look, rumor has it, and there is a lot of speculation, that you might soon find yourself in a different locker room. Now, how do you go about playing at a high level without letting those rumors affect you? Look, I'm not about to be distracted by something like that. I'm not interested in letting negativity in at all. Well, so you, so you don't believe that there's any truth to the rumors? Look, I know there isn't. There's nowhere else I want to be, Frank. All righty. Okay. Thanks. Okay, uh, Candace. Great job tonight, MP. I'm wondering if you can walk us through some of your favorite sets you ran out there. You know, Candace, Coach did a great job of getting us on the same page since the beginning of the training camp. Now, that's when your habits and your identity are established, and we've been following his lead ever since. So it's not just any one set, it's a, it's a mentality. Okay, what would you say your offensive mentality was tonight? Hmm, treat each possession like it's the last of the game. Don't take anything for granted. Make the right play. React to what the defense gives you, and you do that. The offense take care of itself. Okay. Thanks for your time, MP. Thank you, Candace. All right. Let's take some questions.
You want to start? Tremendous job this entire month, MP. Obviously, you've been in a nice groove, but I'm wondering, is there an even higher gear you can reach? I feel like you're just kind of scratching the surface. Oh, yeah. You know, I got gears that don't even exist yet. They're beyond gears like fusion reactor style jet propulsion. And there's no gears on a rocket ship, right? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> yeah, so let, let's just go with that. The new wave is no gears. And we're past that gears this last century on the industrial revolution flow. We on to the next, that that digital, that that green energy, perpetual motion rocket ship wave. Okay, so on that note, how much do you need to improve between now and the end of the season for your team to really make some noise in the playoffs? You know, we got a lot of talent on this team with or without me, but I, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. So I'm just going to say I believe in us, our entire organization, and I work as hard as I can to represent the team in our city to the fullest. Fantastic outlook, my friend. Thanks for your time, MP. Thank you, John. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you, guys.